Oh, you're pretty. Where's your new toy? Where is it? What's out there? What's outside? What's up guys? Lacey the truck driver here. Apology right off the top. I'm not feeling very good today. My energy is super low. So if you pick up on that, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just woke up this morning and I felt like crap. So just making me some green tea right now. Been really into teas lately. I'm trying to get off. I'm a sucker for Diet Mountain Dew. And so I've been trying to get off the soda. And still hot. Um, been trying to get off the soda and go over to teas and it's going good so far but yeah I'm just feeling really really crappy today but I wanted to talk to you guys about some sauces and so I've got sauces creamers and dressings that I want to talk to you guys about today and I apologize also up top I've been having some really weird camera issues like so the video that I posted about the the Yuma about what happened to me in Yuma if you guys watched that um, the audio post processing was really weird and I could not figure out how to fix it so I just left it as it was and then the video that I posted about my my first meal prepping video I posted I also had some audio issues and then um, two days ago I actually filmed what I'm going to tell you guys again today but then when I got it home and I plugged it into my computer I had some Wi-Fi interference noises so I just keep feeling like I'm struggling with this whole audio thing but be patient with me I'll figure it out as we go and yeah if it sounds a little funky I'm probably already aware of it and trying to fix it so I don't know. I don't want to prevent, I don't want to not put videos up just because it has a funky audio. So I'm just going to keep putting them up and work through the kinks of the audio. And so let's dive in with the sauces. So when you're dealing with a plant-based diet as a truck driver, there's um, even just not a plant-based diet, but when you're a truck driver and eating you know a normal American diet and you start getting into the world of like sauces like mayonnaise mayo chipotle you know whatever it is that you get that's a sauce when you eat a normal diet normal diet those sauces typically can range from about 60 to 100 calories per tablespoon um, and so when you go into, say you go into a Subway, you're trying to eat healthy, but you end up getting, you know, some Chipotle on your sandwich or some ranch or some whatever, you're typically getting more than one tablespoon of sauce on your sandwich. And so if you think about how many calories that is, it adds up really, really fast. And not only that, but sauces can also have a ton of hidden fats a ton of sodium. Um, you'll hear me talk about sodium a lot. I talk to people a lot about sodium because it's so important and it really can change the way we look. If we are holding, uh, if we have a lot of excess sodium, it causes us to hold water weight. And so a lot of times you think you weigh X amount or you look like you weigh X amount, but really you just have so much sodium in you that by the time that you get the sodium out and you normalize it, you will just look so much leaner already. So I'm a big sodium pusher as far as like minimizing the sodium intake. So you'll hear me talk about that a lot. Um, and so some things that I do to minimize um, the sauce issue, because it's really hard when you go when you're on the road and you've meal prepped for X amount of days and your fridge is full and you don't have a lot of space for anything else, let's face it, you're going to run out of food. And what do you do? You're going to eat at a truck stop. So the best thing to do in that situation is find a Subway. Um, there's kind of no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You can go get the Impossible Burger. You can go get the beyond burger those are still not healthy options 
Um, so, you know, I kind of like to operate on a 90-10 rule. So if I'm doing good 90% of the time, I'm okay to grab a Beyond Burger that 10% of the time. I'm okay to go try this new restaurant because I'm out here traveling and I want to experience life. You know, so if we can just kind of follow a 90-10 rule, then we'll be able to maintain and even lose weight while we're out here and avoid the weight gain and the health issues that come with this job. So um, some of the things that I do to be prepared for those situations is when I'm home, what I do is I'm a sucker for chipotle sauce. And chipotle in the normal world is not vegan or plant-based, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what I do is I prep chipotle sauce. This is completely vegan. Um, it doesn't have a lot of fat. It doesn't have a lot of calories. I mean, it has calories, you guys, let's face it. But if you were to compare a tablespoon of this Chipotle to a tablespoon of Chipotle from Subway, the, cal the, the nutrition profile is going to, it will be drastically different. You can just look at it and be like, oh, obviously I'm going to pick this option. So what I do is if I do if I do run out of food I try to meal prep everything so I meal prep most of my food but there's days where I just run out of food so on those days what I do is I go to Subway and I'll get a sandwich and then I I put my you know salt and pepper or um, oil and vinegar or oregano or something on there whatever you want and then I, I don't have them put sauce on it and I just have them wrap it up as it is, and then I bring the sandwich back to my truck, and then I open it up, and I put my own sauce on it. So if you, that's a lot of calories. Like, we're not moving around at all during the day, hardly ever. And so keeping those calories down, even if it's that 60 to 120 calories of sauce, um, really, really, really helps. So... Always, whatever your favorite sauce is, whatever sauces you go to the most, um, prep those at home, make them plant-based, and just stick them in your fridge, and you just ha you'll just you have it forever, like months. You'll just have it in your fridge. It doesn't go bad very fast at all. And so the other thing is, as far as the salad end goes, I don't eat a lot of salads. I really don't. If I'm going to get a Subway, then I get a sandwich. I just... I can make really good salads at home, but I feel like salads on the road are just boring and I don't want to do it. So, but if I do a salad type of situation, there's this brand called Follow Your Heart. I don't know how well you can see that there, but my other favorite, so I'm either going to go for a Chipotle or a Caesar. Those are my two dressings. And so I always just keep this in my truck too. It's just a vegan Caesar salad dressing. It's really low in fat. It's low in calories it's only 70 calories per two tablespoons so the sodium's low everything everything's really good on it so keeping those options in your in your fridge is really good way to just manage some calories just to help you just get that extra boost in there of keeping things down staying healthier and not putting in things that are going to cause inflammation cause weight gain etc. So those are my two hugest biggest tips for you guys as far as things to keep in your truck. This can help avoid a lot of situations where you just end up without any food and you're like crap well I don't have anything so I might as well just go grab a burger and fries. Like you can you can avoid those type of situations by just taking a little time at home to get prepared. So um, the other thing is creamer. So there's two creamers that I use. I've been using this one creamer lately though, and it is called, um, okay. So the, the two options I'm going to tell you, there's, um, silk brand. Silk brand is really good. I've tried all the vegan creamers out there and they all just aren't that good. They're not that good. And the Silk brand, the vanilla flavor, I'm, I'm a French vanilla person, so that's the one I like, but they have an original and they have a vanilla. I don't think, they might have a hazel one out now. I would need to check, but I don't drink that one, so I don't really follow the hazelnut flavor. But um, 
Anyway, the Silk brand is really good. The the pros about the Silk brand is you can buy a box. You know those little pods that you can get at the truck stop of creamers and you like pop the lid off and dump the little shot in your coffee? You can get the Silk coffee creamer in those pods in a box. So if you, and you don't have to refrigerate them. So it's a really good thing to keep in your truck because they don't take up fridge space and they're lower calorie, same thing as the dressings, lower calorie, higher nutrition profiles, everything like that. And they don't take up a lot of space. So I would recommend Silk. The other one I would recommend, and this one I actually would recommend the most, I just was told about these and I really like them. So these are called Nut Pods. I don't know how well you can see that there. Do, do, do. Did you see it? sure you did so these nut pods they come in a little cardboard container like this you can get them in a box of three so um, you can get original hazelnut and French vanilla I think you can get all of the same flavor if you want I'm not sure I we only have the three pack of the random ones and haven't ran out yet so uh, we got these to try and I really really like them so What's cool about these is, check that out, 10 calories, 10 calories per serving, which is a tablespoon, which is normal in any type of creamer. If you look at Coffee Mate, I believe, I could be wrong because I don't look at this stuff too often, but I believe that Coffee Mate creamer is like 70 calories per tablespoon just to have a regular creamer dairy based creamer is I think it's like 70 to 90 calories per tablespoon it's somewhere in there the silk brand I think it's between 30 and 40 calories somewhere in there like 30 to 40 calories per tablespoon but this one's 10 so it also has only one gram of fat no sodium no carbohydrates no added sugars no sugar it's just coconut cream, almonds, you know, just plain old regular ingredients, and it's really good. The cool thing about this is kind of the cool thing about the Silk Pods, too, is once these are opened, they have to be refrigerated, but the other ones, if you get the three-pack, you can just stick them up in your storage, and they last, they'll just stay good up there until you open it, and then when you open it, you only have to have one of these small things. I mean, look how small that is in your fridge at a time and it saves a lot of space so these are really good I would push everyone towards these nut pods I um, I really like them and nut pods if you're listening feel free to send me as many of these as you want and I'll promote the shit out of them because they're really good <laughs> so um, anyway those are the three things that have really helped me on the road is the creamers the the sauces and the dressings if you can just have those three things stocked you can pretty much doctor up your meals in a in a really good way so um those would be my biggest recommendations for that and also this is kind of a ra completely random side note that i'm going to throw in here but uh protein powder i keep my protein powder in a so just in a bag like this and because the container takes up so much space that if you just buy a um, I really like Sun Warrior brand protein you can get it on Amazon I get it locally at a place that I know sells it but um, it's called Good Earth I don't they're not national they're a small little store but you can get it on Amazon it's called Sun Warrior protein and these are really good this is a good way to store it because you can just put the scooper in the bag, dump the bottle of protein in the bag, and then it just literally folds up and you can just toss it up in storage. Um, I really like to have a protein shake uh, before, for a at a couple times. So in between meals, I'll have a protein shake so I don't overeat something or, or make a bad choice. It's like going to the grocery store hungry if you walk into the truck stop and you're really hungry, 
the chances of you failing and getting something that's not the best for you is, is more likely. So, I mean, we're all human, you know, we're hungry, we're going to probably go pick the fattiest, greasiest thing we can eat. So, if I know I'm going to be eating soon or stopping to add a truck stop soon and I know I'm, I've kind of been craving something, I'll just make a protein shake and it really helps eliminate, it brings your kind of logical mind back in and you can just be like, actually, no, I'm not as hungry anymore and I'm, I can make better decisions. So, I use that as kind of a, a tool to keep me on track is having a protein shake really helps just kind of curve those cravings. And then the other time is if I'm going to go out to dinner. So if I'm cruising down the road and I like have my eye on this restaurant that I want to stop at and check it out, but I don't want to overeat or whatever the case may be, I'll I'll have a protein shake so that when I go into the restaurant, I'm not as hungry and it will help me not, it'll help me just keep me on course and stay on my diet and, and you, I'm not on a diet. I eat the way that I eat. So, and when, so when I say stay on my diet, I just mean like stay with my lifestyle as being plant-based. Um, it's really easy to go into a restaurant when you're starving the same thing. It's like going to the grocery store hungry. If you go out to eat hungry, you're going to make bad choices. <laughs> like it's just, you're going to make bad choices. So I've just learned over the years that if you go into a, a situation like that and you're not as hungry, you can make, you know, better, better logical decisions on what you're going to eat. So those are my tips for that. Also, I... Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember what I'm going to say, but I'm going to make sure this is cooled down. Ah, that's perfect. Oh, here's another thing for you. Fitness tracker. I highly recommend everybody to get a fitness tracker that wants to keep track of their weight and manage their weight because you will realize, so this is the Garmin Phoenix 5S Plus. So this is like really overboard, but when I'm home, I do a lot of hiking and mountain biking and actually I haven't been mountain biking in a while. Oh, there's another truck driver taking a, taking a leak. He has no idea I'm watching him. No clue. I'm going to stop watching him though. <laughs> anyway, um, getting a fitness tracker with an optical heart rate monitor, so meaning that there's a heart rate uh, monitor on the back of the watch, will tell you how many calories you're burning per day. You will be surprised how little you move and how little calories you burn. When I just have a straight driving day where I'm in between stops and I'm not stopping, you know, here or there and I'm just driving that day, if I don't get out and walk around or go on a run or do something, I only burn like 1,500 calories. And if you think about that, actually, I think I burn less. No, I burn about 15 to 16 depending on the day. But if you think about that, that's one, that's like one meal from like Carl's Jr. or something. You know, that's like nothing. So... Um, making sure you have a fitness tracker can really help you realize exactly what you're doing and exactly how much you're burning per day and everything like that. They're super helpful. I wear mine every day. I check in with it every day. Um, well, maybe not every day, but I just, I make notice of what, you know, what I'm doing because it's so easy to lose track. So, those are my big tips. Hello, that just almost hit me in the face. Um, those are my tips for you guys on that. And also, um, starting January 2020, so here in the next four weeks or so, I'm accepting clients for plant-based meal planning. It's going to be specific to your um, weight, height, age, activity level, um, the things that you have to cook with in your truck. Are you over the road? Are you regional? Are you home on the weekends? Are you gone for three, four weeks at a time and home for a few days? You know, whatever it is, um, I can uh, help you with your meal planning. And I'm in the middle of, of, of 
working a new software, so that's why I'm not accepting until January. I'm working out some kinks with the software. So um, if you're interested in that, the way to get a hold of me would be to go to my Instagram at the Lacinator and send me a message, follow me over there, send me a message and let me know you're interested in that and we can chat more about it. Don't leave any information in the comments if you're trying to get a hold of me for meal planning. Don't don't comment on the YouTube videos because those can get buried really fast. So either do the Instagram route or you can email me at LaceyBailey801 at gmail.com. So um, yeah, just avoid uh, the comments because th I get a lot of comments on the videos and, and you, you'll get lost in there. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys something about your coffee. Let me show you. So another thing that I use, oops, I left the lid open a little bit. So I really like, some days I drink my coffee black. Some days I drink it with creamer, and some days I just drink it with these drops. But this, and it just kind of like depends on my mood, I guess, but these together are really good. So the nut pods with these, I totally left the lid open, so it spilled everywhere. My bad. Um, these Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops Vanilla Cream. So these are super powerful. Like three drops will sweeten your whole coffee, and it's like... I mean, that's a lot. That's one, two, three. So you get, you, these are kind of expensive. They're like 12 or 14 bucks for this thing. But I mean, it's 288 servings, but you can probably get more than that out of this because it's, you don't use a lot. So yeah, this is another really good option and it's small. So it stores easy if you're looking for a sweetener. I really like those. So, yeah, I think that was it for this sauce video. Told you guys about my meal planning coming January. And, yeah, I think that's about it. I got a vlog. I've been, um, most people have been asking me for vlogs and meal videos. So, I'm going to be pushing those out pretty strong the next couple weeks. I've just, the, my camera's been weird. My time is, I'm really busy. Obviously, you guys know, like, I can't be editing videos while I'm driving. And so, that's really hard, finding time to edit videos. So, I'm, I'm trying my best to get them out fast. It's just a battle of time because when I am home, you guys all know how it is if you're truck drivers. When I'm home, it's like, I got to get my hair cut. I got to go to the grocery store. I got to do my laundry. I got, I mean, you guys all know how it is for your restarts. So it gets really hard to get the videos edited, but I'm trying to figure out a way to do it faster. So um, this is a new channel. It's going to take me a little bit to just get faster at it. But once I do, um, I have so much content. I have so many ideas. I have so much I want to throw at you. I just need to find the time to do it. So I'm working on it. Stay with me. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed so that you do see the videos when they come out. And yeah, let me know if there's anything specific you guys want to see. Either any questions you have on meal prepping, meal planning. Definitely willing to help you guys with that. I just want everybody to, I just want everyone to be healthy out there. Like this is the most unhealthy industry. This is I, I can't think of another industry that would be more unhealthy than this one is. And so I just want to take what I've learned in my knowledge and help you guys feel better so that you guys can get home to your families and, and be healthy and, you know, everything. So I'm always willing to help you guys out however I can. Post it in the comments. I try to keep up with those. And, um, yeah, follow me at the Lacinator on Instagram and message me on Instagram or email me if you are interested in plant-based meal planning and can get you set up on a program, subscribe, you know, do all the things. But anyway, I'm going to get rolling. I got to get out of here so I can get moving. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. More content is coming. Slow process with the editing, but it's coming. I'm working really hard to get everything up and going. 
and so don't forget to subscribe you see those videos come out and we'll talk to you guys on the next one take care be safe see you guys later